basically find the determinant and uh, multiply the matrix that is inverse of matrix, okay? So let's go ahead and start our discussion with finding the determinant. Now, how are you actually going to find the determinant? Well, if you have a matrix, which is a square matrix, okay, um, it has to be two rows and two columns, okay? So in the equation in your book, it might just say A times D minus B times C. But how am I going to make it easier for you guys to remember this concept? Well, remember the cross. A times D times, uh, a times D minus B times C, okay? So it goes like this. So you have to, you learn A times D, all you need to know is the minus sign in the middle and B times C, okay? So knowing this information, let's go ahead and solve the, let's find out the determinant of this matrix over here. So let's go ahead and start off with the cross multiplication. We don't need to actually remember the formula for this, like X, Okay, so 2 times 3, what comes first, minus is what we need to remember, and then it goes this way. So it's 5 times 1, okay? That tells us 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus 5, that is equal to 1. So 1 is the determinant of the matrix over here, okay? So let's go ahead and solve one more uh, the find one more determinant of a matrix okay let's go ahead and solve a few examples okay so the first let's say you have three six two zero and you need to find the determinant of this matrix over here so without knowing the formula only remembering the minus sign let's go ahead and solve this go this way x 3 times 0 is what comes first, minus is what we need to remember, 6 times 2. 3 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 6 times 2 is 12, that tells us it's negative 12. So negative 12 is the determinant of this matrix over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and know, understand the concept of inverse matrix, okay, or matrix inverse. In matrix inverse, the concept um, all you need to know is the concept of determinants and that's basically it, that, okay? So the first thing you need to do is basically um, do the inverse operation every single time, okay? So let's, let me go ahead and show you an example. Now, we talk, all right, in inverse of matrix, okay? So I have lots of plenty of stuff over here, um, but let's start off with the basics, okay, that we need to know. Now basic is basically, if you have a matrix, it's basically dependent upon the uh, determinant that we just found out on how to calculate the determinant, okay? So how are you actually going to do that? Well, you have a matrix over here, and if you need to find out the inverse of this A matrix, all you need to do that is put A raised to negative 1, which tells us it's the inverse of matrix A, okay? If you have B matrix, it's B raised to negative 1, okay, exponent. Okay, so in this you do one over the determinant that we just found learned on how to do it. Now the only process that adds up to this method is basically switching the B and C values and making it uh, negative. Uh, let me show you how. Now here you have this matrix which is A and D. You just simply write that down. That's basically it. And here you swap them around. Okay, B and C you swap them and then make it negative. Okay, so let's go ahead and consider an example to find out what I'm actually telling you guys. So you have A matrix over here, which is 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, now if you need to find out the inverse of this matrix over here, all you need to do is 1 over the determinant. That is, determinant is X, remember your sign, that is the X sign, first this way and then this way. Okay, so you need to do that. 3 times 0, what comes here? Minus sign is what we plug in in the middle. Then 2 times 1. Okay, so you don't need to remember the formula for this. A times uh, A times D minus B times C. You don't need to remember that. All you need to do is remember the X sign and how do you actually write it like this, right? So then you have 
the inverse box over here. That is the extra method that we do in order to find the inverse of the matrix that we start off with. Now it turns out that the matrix that we start off with is known to be initial point, okay? So we label it initial point, okay? So here we wrote down the A and D, which is three and zero, completely the same as you guys can see. Now two and one, I actually swapped them and made it negative, okay? Negative two and negative one, okay? That gives me one over uh, that is negative one half, okay? If you do this, that is zero minus two is basically negative two, okay? So it's minus one half, and we write the the matrix over here. Now what we need to do is multiply each and every term that is three times negative one half, negative two times ne uh, let me make it bigger. So negative two times uh, negative one half, negative one times negative one half negative zero times negative one half that's unnecessary because it's gonna give us zero because it's any number multiplied by zero gives us zero okay so this is what you actually do in this process now what you end up is with a number okay and a number you basically write down in this form that is if you multiply three times negative one half you would get it negative three halves if you multiply negative two times negative one you would get a one Okay, negative one, negative one times negative one half gives us half, positive one half, zero times negative one half totally gives us zero. Okay, so what you end up is with an inverse matrix uh, that is the inverse of the matrix that is, we start off with, uh, it, with is basically the initial point, okay, the initial matrix, and this is the final matrix, okay. So this section was about converting a matrix into a the finding the inverse of matrix okay but before we end this section what i want you guys to know is basically how it actually works okay so like i showed you here this is some formula that might be shown in your book okay the blue part is the formula that is shown in your book and the, we apply this formula in the easiest method that we can and we found the inverse of the matrix, which is this one over here. Now, as you guys can see, this has two rows and two columns. Now, what the inverse is basically has the same amount of rows and same amount of columns. That is, if you have two rows over here and two columns over here, that is matrix A, okay? So A matrix has two by two, okay? That is the dimension of this matrix over here. Now the inverse, we are predicting, predicting that it should be the same, okay? That is the dimension should be the same. So let's go ahead and look, take a look at this matrix. Well, it has two rows and two columns. That means the inverse of matrix A, so inverse of matrix A is also two by two, okay? It has to be the same. If you get uh, two by three, it's totally wrong, okay? Because you cannot get a two by three matrix.